Welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Got a really interesting episode for you today and a question. What's this hammer and chisel, this grinder and this chainsaw got in common? And the answer is, I'm going to be using them to style this Hawthorne today. So let's crack on. A couple of months ago, I chopped this Hawthorne bush down with a chainsaw. All these are just branches that have grown in the last couple of months and I'm removing them from this side of the tree to sort of expose this area at the front there and that might give you a clue as to what's going to happen. I've got loads of these stumps in the ground they're all doing really well um, so I thought I'd have a play with this one today and try to create a hollow trunk so removing this center section. I've never done this before, but I think the best way to learn is to do. So that you can see what's going on, I've just got a piece of wire and I'm just going to twist these branches all together there, just to get them out of the way. I've never attempted anything like this, so I'm just sort of learning on the job. But my plan is to kind of cut a line down here perhaps and maybe something down this side and use these tools to kind of hollow some of this out so let's go Given the option, I would, I would like this not to be dead straight. I'd like it to kind of curve a bit. So I'm going to bring it across and then bring it back out. I just realized you couldn't see in that previous angle, the full uh, length of the trunk, but I just brought it down and back around. And I'm going to do something similar now on this side and in some way kind of mirror, mirror that movement a bit. going on there <laughs> that just didn't work I think perhaps this will work better ah yes That tool's definitely, uh, it's got a nice set of teeth on it. It seems to cut quite well. I'm hoping now that I've created this groove, I'll be able to follow that down with a chainsaw. That's not bad. I'm fairly pleased with that sort of starting uh, starting point. What I need to do now is use these tools and get this deepen, take these deeper and then somehow get the centerpiece out maybe with a chisel and a hammer.
you can see from this angle now, I've gone a fair way in with that groove, around two inches, I'd say. So I'm going to use, um, I forgot what this is called, a chisel. Chisel and a hammer now to try and basically cut this central section out. Oh, that's coming out really nicely. This type of tree, it is something that you do see in nature. If you look around, you'll notice that every now and again you get old trees and for some reason they've started to rot. And basically water's got in, it's rotted and the whole inside of the trunk has died. But the tree stays alive because the bark and all this area is still good. So this is coming off in a really nice way. And this has seemed fairly straightforward so far. I'm not sure I'd be able to be I wouldn't be able to be quite so tough with this tree if it was in a pot but fortunately with it being in the ground it's absolutely rock solid well what I do want to do is use the chainsaw to cut through this so that I don't start peeling off massive pieces down into the base so that I don't just peel these pieces right out I'm going to take the chainsaw and just cut the, cut through this section here Perfect that. Now that I've cut that bottom piece, I'm much happier carrying on. Ah, oh, there you see. That came off lovely and cleanly at the bottom. And if I hadn't made that cut, that would have just carried on tearing down. Now, exactly what I'm going to do at the bottom, I'm still unsure. Let's cut it that way. Oh, that's better, yeah. That's revealing the, the inside nicely. I think what I will do is I'll take the chainsaw and do another cut so that I don't have to go all the way to the bottom with one. I might be wrong, but I believe that's called a, a plunge cut, is it? Yeah. My subscribers from America and Canada will know all about that. You love your chainsaws over there. That's coming out really nicely. I'm very happy with this. like Michelangelo.
now I'll start working on this section here. With this, again, I'm still going with this large chisel, but I'm just not being as greedy. I was a bit greedy up at the top, but there's no damage done, it's fine. And I'll just take off, just going about five mil at a time. Beautiful. It's probably, probably going better than I'd imagined if I'm honest this. You don't tend to see too much of this type of work on YouTube. You tend to see a lot more junipers and wire bending. But this is the kind of bonsai work that really really kind of gets my juices going if you will I love it I'm going to go to a smaller chisel now for this this section here I do enjoy woodworking and I've, I'm uh, I actually do wood turning I've got my own wood lathe I think I'm going to start a, a wood turning channel at some point. The only thing is at the moment, until I have an operation on my eye, I can't use my lathe. So I've not turned anything for like 18 months. I can't wait to get back on the lathe. Yeah, that's coming out really nicely. I'm just working my way down. Just, just taking these pieces out. And by working with, with the grain like this, it should hopefully create quite a natural finish on the inside of the wood. A bit like when you're tearing a gin. Yeah, carry on. There's a bit more to do here before I go back to the chainsaw. And I think this is a really interesting project. I love doing stuff like this. Obviously, I'll be returning to this tree in the future next spring show you how it's getting on showing if the edges are callousing over and and the general health of the tree if you're interested in what happens with this if you could hit subscribe you'll be able to keep up to date with with its progress and the the progress of all my other bonsai trees Yeah, this is really nice this. I don't know if I'm going to even bother going in with the chainsaw. I think I like the way that these pieces are coming up, coming off. It's very, very natural. And so I'm kind of tempted to just keep cutting and pulling. I'll, I'll give you a closer view. This is a lot easier with this smaller chisel than the big one. But all I'm doing is Cutting in, not that much, that's too much. And then, as that tears out, <laughs> he says, <sighs> like that uh, it's creating some really natural effects 
and I wouldn't get that with the, the chainsaw. I think I need some pliers to grip that and pull it off. This is using the sort of technique that you use on a gin of just tearing the wood like that. Oh, that went really well. There. by pulling these pieces out like this as the inside of this then rots down it's going to leave a very natural a natural finish this bit here is where I went in with the chainsaw so it's quite flat and we've got a bit of a 90 degree angle so I want to use my chisel to take some of that corner out really so I'm thinking if I can just Just nibble some of that away there, like that. And then the same from here, like that. It'll just help round out that corner. You don't tend to see corners in nature. So the kind, you, you sort of want to avoid them if you can. grab that with the pliers oh that's really nice I love this effect yeah and I don't mind this as much now because it kind of comes up here and then goes back in on this side here, you can see the marks that have been left by the chainsaw cut in like that. The teeth of the chainsaw have created these kind of circular patterns. And all I'm wondering now is, can I use this chainsaw? work well and then I can then grab any of these bits of wood and just sort of tear them out that's much better than it was definitely yeah, I prefer that a lot the difficult bit now that's left is this base section and what I do around here ideally I'd like this to come lower and sort of round so I'm going to use the chainsaw to just take these sections out <laughs> a woodlouse come on come on fella
There you go. He's gone, he's free. So I've cut, cut the little sections out there. Now I can go across this way and just try and remove what's left. gone quite nicely there I think I've got some sort of it sort of comes down and this can all be improved over time with different um, tools I have just noticed I want to clear these lumps out a little bit I think that's quite quite a nice base I was pretty much done with this and my dad's just come over and made a great point that I'd completely overlooked and it's this top I cut this dead square obviously with a chainsaw and it just looks completely unnatural so I'm going to remove this wire so that doesn't get caught up in the chainsawing lost a bit of a branch there but that's fine and I do have a couple of branches up here so I think this area I want to leave high and then I want to dip down there and perhaps bring this down here so I want to cut like a hollow there and a hollow there with the chainsaw that's my plan anyway let's go for it Yeah, that worked well. I kind of get this from above, I think, now, if I can. No, that's not, that won't work. Just trying to get it so you can see it on camera. There we go.
Now, I think that looks so much better, much more natural now. I can pull these away with the pliers and just neaten this up, but I'm not bothered if some of this starts rotting away. I'm not going to seal this with anything. I'm not going to use lime sulphur or anything like that. I'm going to let this have the winter to do what it wants to do and rot away a bit and become more natural looking. And then probably I'll apply some lime sulphur perhaps next spring or maybe this time next year. I'm not sure. Some of these experiments work out really well. Others, you just won't know like this one until next spring and we'll see if it lives and comes to life and everything but so far i couldn't have been more happy with this i think that might have the potentials of being a really interesting tree in the future so if you've enjoyed this video if you could hit like i'd appreciate it but apart from that have a great day and i'll see you soon thanks for joining me